Welcome to Whitney's channel. Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Whitney Wiley and thanks for checking out my high-end makeup and beauty haul. Yes, my high-end makeup and beauty haul. Um, if this is your first time joining me, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. I'm going to do lots of videos coming up pretty soon. Maybe some vlogs, maybe some more makeup. I don't know. It's going to be a whole mix of stuff. But I'd love to have you as a subscriber so you don't miss any of my future videos coming up. So yeah, let's get started. I've been doing a little bit of shopping. And um, I've been looking for some things. So. I thought I would share with you some of the stuff that I found. Um, and I also did a drugstore makeup haul as well because I've been looking for the same things in high-end places and in the drugstore. So um, you can catch that one as well if you wanna see some of the things that I found in my drugstore edition. So um, it should be interesting to see which one of these pans out to have better products and work more for me. So if you hear a squeaky toy in the background, that is my dog, Murray and he doesn't seem to understand that when the red light is on, now's not the time to play. So anyway, let's get started in the haul. So, just picked up a few little things, just a few. It's not that bad, I swear it's not that bad. This has been like accumulating for months, ish, weeks. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I have it in this Ulta bag, but not everything came from Ulta, so. Um, it's just kind of a mix, so I'm gonna literally like dig in and get started. First thing I got was a Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Brush. I'm totally late to the game with this brush, but I just wanted to share it. It's one of the new things I picked up because I wanted to get a new contour brush, um, so I thought I'd get a double-ended one. But look how cool. It comes in this little carrying case, which looks like a coffin, and the brush is in here. I've been using it. It's got the highlight shade and the contour shade, so it came in the brush like this, or in the box like this. And I've been using the contour shade main or contour side mainly, um, not the highlight side, and it's been working pretty well. So I so far really like this, um, and it's a pretty cool addition to add to my brush collection. One of the other things I got is this sculpting powder from Kevin Aquan in the shade Deep. Holy moly! I've used this one time. There's fingerprints all over it, but let me open it up for you. Which, by the way, their packaging is really pretty. It comes in like a like crushed velvet um, little envelope and a box. And this is just a contour powder. I've been trying to get a good contour powder for a while. The one I've been using um, is $40. Uh, <laughs> so is this one. <laughs> um, but I wanted to find one that I could use that was hopefully... A little cheaper option but obviously that wasn't the case here but this was so cool because um, when I tested it out there I was like oh okay this looks okay then I brought it home and compared it next to my Smashbox contour powder and my Smashbox one is totally darker so I was like great this is not obviously gonna work for me they didn't make it for someone um, with my dark of skin tone and um, I tried it out and it's amazing. It's so buttery and creamy when you put it on and somehow it seems to darken on my skin. I don't really know, but it has this cool, nice cool undertone and it darkens on my face. So even though the powder looks pretty light, it comes out so beautifully on. And so I think I'm sold on this. Unfortunately, I'm now a fan and this costs way too much money, but um, I think this might be one of those products where it's kind of worth it to spend that. So, unfortunately, I found this. Thank you, Kevin Aquan. Okay, so one of the next things I got was the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Color. Um, in Subconscious, I believe, yes. She just came out with refill pans, and I wanted to try these out because I never wanted to buy the entire palette. I never thought that the shades would really work for me, but once I realized I could just buy the contour powder on its own, I thought I would try that as well. Um, I've only used it about two times, but I think I'm already more in love with the Kevin Aquan one that I just showed you, so. Okay, next thing I got was some lashes in the mail from House of Lashes. Um, yeah, so they had a little sale going on and they make my favorite lashes, the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, and they're so beautiful. So um, 
I forget how much they are normally, but I think they do little package deals where it's like three for like $33. They're basically all 11 bucks each, which is more than drugstore, but not as bad um, as some prices I've seen for high-end lashes. But these are my favorite. They're so beautiful. And then I picked up one other pair of lashes by them. They're called the Temptress Wispy Lashes. So I wanted to try out one other style by them. Temptress Wispy. At Ulta, they were having a little sale. Um, per usual, they're always having some type of sale, like buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off. So they had a sale on Soap and Glory, and I've always wanted to try their body butter. So I picked up the Righteous Body Butter, because um, I didn't have any at the moment. So I wanted to try this out, and I've tried this like twice, and it smells really delicious. It's just a very thick, creamy body butter, um, but not too thick. So I picked up this one, and then I also picked up the Orange Asm, Orange Asm Body Butter by them, and this one is supposed to be a little more moisture rich, so um, for drier skin. This one smells very orangey, very citrusy. So um, I haven't tried this one yet, but so far I like the regular one, and I'm sure I'll like this too because I have dry skin, so I'm sure it won't do me wrong. Okay, next thing I picked up, was another Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, I have a shade right now that's more of my skin tone. I think it's in deep or dark. But I wanted to pick up tan because I wanted to get a shade that had a little bit of a yellow undertone in it um, that was much lighter that I could use to highlight a little more so I could mix it in for when I really wanted those like highlighted um, under eye area days. So I picked this one up because I really do like these and these smell so good. Oh, I got some MAC goodies. So I went to the MAC counter. <laughs> Haven't been there in a little while and I picked up a couple of things from there. One of the things I wanted to pick up um, was I wanted some more highlighting and concealing pins. I think highlighting and concealing has become my new favorite thing to do with my makeup. Um, Cause I don't always wanna wear foundation, but I feel like if you have good concealer and like highlight underneath your eye, you look more awake. Um, so I picked up the MAC Prep and Prime pin and this is in shade Peach Luster. So this has like an orangey reddish undertone, so this will just be good. It comes with like the brush, like that. Um, and you twist it up. But this will be really good for uh, hiding those dark circles. So I picked up that one, and then I picked up, this is in dark. So this is just more towards my skin tone, so I could just kind of use this to conceal with. So you can kind of just see the brush there. But yeah, um, I've used these once, and so far so good, I like them. I also got Max Prep and Prime Skin Refine Zone Treatment. So I've been looking for a pore refining treatment or primer, so I wanted to try this out. Um, I also grabbed a couple drugstore ones that I put in my other video. This is a very milky, runny type of um, primer, so I think that I will use this in a mix with another like silicone based primer so that will help to like fill in the pores more. This isn't going to do as much to fill in. Then I got two lip glasses. I got it in Pink Rat and Oh Baby. So this is just a, this is Pink Rat, obviously, the pinky one. And it's pink with little flecks of gold. Let's see if I can swatch it for you. Actually it doesn't give off very much pink, it's pretty much all gold. And then I got Oh Baby, pretty cool. It's got this um, very bronzy tone to it. And there you go, very bronzy tone with lots of bronze and gold reflex in it. So I think both of these will be really pretty like lip toppers. I don't think I'll wear them by myself, but put them over um, a lipstick. Oh Baby is here. And then this is the pink, what is it? Pink Rat. I got a Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. I got a mini one of these, a travel size one, a few months back, and I really did like it, so I just decided to pick up one. Um, I don't normally set with this powder, but it is really interesting. It's so crazy how this powder is damn near white. <laughs> it's like very, very light um, tone, but it kind of settles into your skin and absorbs into your skin. It literally becomes translucent. So it's pretty cool because when you're first applying it, you're like, oh my God, but it does like sink into the skin, which is pretty nice. 
for those of us who don't have that exact skin tone. I also got this Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil Glitter Shadow Duo. So I actually saw this on um, Jaclyn Hill's channel and she talked about this and I don't know what drew me to it, but it's a liquid eyeshadow and glitter combo, but it's so beautiful. So you have the liquid eyeshadow on one side that you put as the base, which you could totally wear alone. I'll actually do a swatch with it alone and then a swatch with the glitter on top. So and then the other side is the glitter and it's literally just like glitter that kind of falls out. So I wore this once and everybody stopped me. I was like, what is on your eyes? This side is just the eyeshadow alone, the liquid. And then this side is the glitter on top. So it's pretty reflective either way, but if you wanna go the extra mile, you can go ahead and put the glitter on top of it, but it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful copper shade. I got mine once again in Margaret number one. So um, there is this bronze, I think there's a pink, there's a gold, a lighter like yellow or white gold, um, and one other shade, I think like a blue, but so pretty. I got some little rock eyeliners. These are on sale at Ulta. I've never used these, but um, I swatched them and they were super creamy. And one of the cool things about them is they said that they were safe for contact lens wearers. I currently don't wear contacts anymore, but I did in the past. and. Oh my gosh, there's nothing worse than eyeliner that gets in your eye and irritates your eye when you're wearing contacts. So I thought I'd really try these because I thought they'd be nice and sense or gentle on your eyes if you have sensitive eyes. So I got it in black, just a black eyeliner. And then I picked up the bronze and the dark brown shade. I've used those once and I didn't have any problems with my eyes. Ah, we're nearing the end. Okay, so Becca Luminous Blush and Blushed Copper. So I've been wanting this, this has been out for a little while, but every time I go to Ulta, it's sold out. So finally found it, finally was there. I got the last one, per usual. <laughs> um, but I thought this shade was so pretty, um, and it is a little more bronzy and probably better for summer, but I don't care, I'll be wearing it anyway. So um, I'll swatch it for you. Literally, it looks like just copper on your skin, so just this really reflective hue and it has a little bit of like a burnt orange undertone or base to it okay so because I purchased that um, blush from Becca they actually gave me a free sample of the opal skin perfector which I have opal in the powder form but they gave it to me in poured form so that's the creamy version so this is really great to put underneath your highlighter if you want to go extra crazy Make sure your highlighter lasts all day. So I thought this was really pretty actually. So yeah, I got all of these things um, in the past few months and I wanted to share them with you. I'll definitely follow up about some of these products and let you know how they go. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please comment below and let me know if you've tried any of these or um, if there's anything you are interested in trying out. I'd love to hear about what you're interested in as well because um, I just enjoy makeup so I love hearing what other people have got or how they feel about the products because you know we all have different experiences so it'd be interesting to hear what you guys thought of some of these as well so definitely comment below let me know what you think um, if you like the video please like and don't forget to subscribe I will have more videos for you pretty soon and thank you so much for watching guys it's been fun I'll see you later see you in my next one bye